What's it like to amass one of the biggest followings on Instagram as a guitar player? Because you literally have cracked the the algorithm to like <laughs> love you. <laughs> the Instagram guys are sat there like, we love Emmanuel. We're gonna push him. Yeah, I don't know. It's pure luck. I think. I, yeah. I, no, it's not pure luck, but it's a good question because I see so many great guitar guitar players out there on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, who like have a few hundred followers. Yeah. And they like they they uh, should have more. Yeah. And I, I, don't, know, I don't know why. I guess I I present my material in a way that, well, now a lot of guitar players on Instagram present the material like I do. I'm not saying I was the first. Absolutely not. Ah. Uh, 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 but you have to you have to like uh, record it in in uh, some interesting way. I rarely just put put the camera right in front of my face, you know? Yeah. I've noticed that sometimes you're even like sat near some water and like some crazy background. And yeah, it's like, yeah. You just, yeah, you, you're you conscious of that. that Absolutely. Sort of yeah. I mean, it, it, because I, I'm I'm making a living of it, so I have to be conscious about it. Yeah. If I didn't make a living of it, I probably wouldn't care as much, but I need views, obviously, because I make uh, advertisement for my lessons on my Patreon yes. page. Yeah, yeah. In fact, do you, want, do you want to just quickly plug your Patreon page? Because I feel like it's it's such a good resource for everyone listening. Check out my Patreon page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's just patreon.com and my my name, Emmanuel Hedberg. That could be like the secret like blueprint to actually getting to be a good jazz blues player. Like you have so much value on there that it's like... Yeah, yeah. I have, I have a lot of material. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I upload one one lesson per week at least. So Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's a good way to get you know, give people more closer access to you in a way where you wouldn't see it online. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I always answer questions on Patreon page. I can't do that on Instagram. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's, I did that before, but I got burnt out, you know. Yeah. So, so I now now I rarely go in and check check my private messages on Instagram because it's... It's crazy. It's a minefield. No, it's crazy. We, we've been talking about that the last few days. It's like you... It's just unmanageable sometimes. And I'm getting to the stage now where I'm thinking like, I'm gonna have to, if I wanted to re- reply to everyone, I'd have to hire someone to do it. And it's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not possible. So now I, I never like go in and even check. But the problem with that is sometimes I miss some interesting, obviously. Well, wait, here's the thing: you, you replied to my DMs. Like I'm, I, I slid into your DMs, and you're, you're there. I'm, yeah, I'm there. So you must like, <laughs> you must like me. But no, no, I um, do like you. <laughs>